Hello and welcome to another update video about the DXY. So we continue to push a little higher, further and closer towards resistance. Um, resistance for this particular wave two is between 103.33 and 104.79 as already um, explained in previous videos. My overall view is that we're currently coming down here in an ABC correction for the DXY, A wave, B wave possibly done and the C wave unfolding now and the primary expectation as long as resistance is holding suggests that we came down in a complete wave one here with a bottom on the 14th of April. We're now moving up in a wave two and would then follow through here to the downside in a five wave move into the $90 region, basically low $90 region. However, um, it is possible that we have that wave B is still unfolding, yeah? So the B wave might still be unfolding because it was a very weak B wave. If you take a look at the Fibonacci retracements, B just reached the 38.2 Fib level. Actually, not really. It just fell short of um, whatever, 50 cents or something. Um, so it was very short, didn't really hit resistance. Um, ideally, the B wave should reach the 38.2 retracement. Now, there isn't really a minimum for a B wave, but ideally, right? Ideally. Now, anyway, we then started to sell off further. And because I count the move down as a five wave move, I suggest that is actually a wave one to the downside. Wave one of wave C, which would eventually be a five wave move. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm going to follow my primary count as long as it is valid and until resistance is broken. Elliott Wave is very good at giving us the levels that we are the objective levels that we need to consider to change our view. So at the moment, I'm looking at this move down as a wave one, as I said, and the move down as an ABC structure. And the uh, last time when I made the last video, we hadn't reached the resistance level yet. The 50% level is normally ideal for a wave two or the golden ratio, the 61.8 retracement. We talk here about 103.33 and 103.93. I expect some resistance there and maybe even a bearish reaction. Um, it can still push higher to the 78.6 FIB level, but if it goes above that, it's probably not a wave two anymore. Now we can take the Fibonacci extensions also to give us an idea where this might top. We already reached the one to one ratio. Last time we saw a bit of a reaction, but nothing major. So it's good to see that it continues to follow through to reach standard FIP resistance for the wave two. Um, and the next key target, if we look at Fibonacci extensions, um, I think we have a good chance of seeing a reaction at the 1.618 extension of the A wave. That means wave C has 1.618 times the length of wave A. That is a very common target for a C wave in such an ABC correction and that would be at $103.43. Somewhere in that box, I would expect a reaction. Now, if we look at the four hour chart, so let's look at the MACD. The MACD just turned bullish again, but the MACD line is quite high, but it can st it still has space as you can see. Yeah? I'm not telling you that it definitely needs to turn around at the 1.618 extension, but it certainly can. Now we already see here a bearish divergence on the four hour chart that indicates that we get close to the end here. At least it's an indication. Yeah. On the daily chart, we still have space to push higher. Yeah, no problem. Um, but typically, if we really are in a C wave, it would soon find its way below 50 again. I think the four hour is quite meaningful at this stage where we see that bearish divergence. Now, that doesn't mean we have topped, but it indicates that um, we get possibly exhausted shortly. So from that point of view, I'm watching for reaction at the levels indicated that resistance area. Um, and we would then come down in a third wave that would be quite a strong sell off. And I would need to see a break below the B wave low at $101 and well, $101 to confirm um, that we are in a third wave. And if we break below that level, it would be a good confirmation and yeah, all eyes now need to be on that resistance area here. Yeah, this is really important because a break above that would indicate something, let's say more bullish is going on, not necessarily bullish, but maybe just a reset of the B a little higher, which would not be a problem. 
um, it would just mean that the sell-off is delayed a little bit. Okay, that's my update about the DXY. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.